there are other models. Like I know that the open AI, or at least I, I don't know if they still believe this, but a lot of the open, open AI's early manifesto type stuff was much more the idea that people would have their own AGIs. And basically that there would be sort of this community of like each, you know, that basically they wanted to like to some extent open source AGI so that, so that people could like have their own AGI, kind of like the early visions for Bitcoin. Um, but I think that, I mean, even what you've seen with Bitcoin is like, you've seen how that was the early vision, but in practice it's much more centralized. Um, I, I think that at least my hunch is that it is going to be impractical to have truly distributed AGI technology. And that in practice, just like with Bitcoin, you're going to probably see a lot of centralization. And so let's say if AGI ends up being, maybe it's in theory open a, a little bit, but maybe it's primarily dominated by like Google and Baidu and like, I don't know, the NSA and Microsoft, but they're going to be maybe a few entities that have that have most of the power. Um, and then I think that those entities will have a lot of influence with their decisions and you can't just have some, it's not really like you already see a lot of, um, back, like kind of backlash against the tech industry for basically making decisions that impact millions of, or hundreds of millions of people, but they make it based on their personal values. You see this a lot with like right-wing people complaining that left-wing values are affecting Twitter and other platforms. Um, so basically our goal is that this shouldn't be a subjective thing, but rather there should be a, an official process like a representative democracy where everyone can come to the table and say what they believe is right. And then they sort of hash it out through either voting or dialogue. And then there's an answer. 